you look right now and right now it looks amazing all of the stuff that I think of is right there so let me now make my buildings look like they're real good buildings so just a little bit of white and let's put some windows over here so just dots here and there you don't have to be perfect on it again i'm doing only on the edge corner of it and let's put some over here so i did that again i'm going to try to put the same thing in here it's just uh, not as uh, strong of a white as the other guys are. I still have the line over this. I'm going to take some white. I'm going to try to make the top part of my uh, sun or moon a little more white because after all it is a reflection over here try not to destroy the trees and don't take any water at this point all you are doing is basically trying to make it a little look lighter if here and there you touch the trees again don't worry about it you're going to correct this soon showing the shading that I'm doing on this one because that's more important than anything else at this point or for this painting I'm gonna have my line make sure I have my white over here properly put as much or as little as you like okay, I feel like I want to put some more color down here but not too much I'm gonna just shade it lighter but not as white as the top Because just so you know, this is the river uh, or the ocean. And so I'm going to have some white going over my tree. So it, it will look like it here and there. Now, since I have white in my hand, I want to start putting some true, maybe uh, clouds or something to make it a little white, lighter for blue. Um, let's say I want to put something in here and here. So outline them, put the same reflection on here. Uh, doesn't have to be again perfect here, just trying to uh, make it almost like now, as you can see, this guy's end up being dark, uh, lighter than, I mean, uh, more faded away than over there. Um, I still have my brush, so I'm going to try to make it a circle motion and make this. So that's how it's going to be for up here. So I'm going to take more white and start making just little circles and make my basically cloud and I'm going to 
for some reason in the world. So I already have depleted it over here. So whenever you make a cloud, try to come back over here and try to have a almost fade away uh, color for it. So let's see in here. I want to make this one instead of going upward, just uh, going across. And then maybe up here. And uh, none of these are going to be good. So now that I have that, I'm going to think over here and I'm going to use the same brush, try to somewhat be like, hey, I don't have to be exactly like, because these guys are going to be This one is maybe a circle, a big circle, and then a big circle over here. Take more white in here. So I have two circles already. So I'm going to do the same thing over here, so I'm going to make Oh, I don't think they are circle, they are like oval Let me put this over here I disappeared the line over there so Let's do this guy Going and then maybe one attached so again for these guys you can use the swap as the I was showing very unusual method but one one so I'm gonna do the same thing over here I'm gonna have going over here and then in here it's going to come down. Okay. Maybe this one, a very small one. I don't like having too many of these guys. So this one is going to be worse. Now, as you can see, higher up there, um, brighter up there, faded away more over here. Just to make sure people know that the basic method is a reflection, I'm going to try to put a couple of lines here and there, just so. Okay, those are very sharp, so I don't like the sharpness of the white. And the Drop up some of my white and try to make some lines here. Now, taking some of my glue and try to go over it so it doesn't look so bright and it will blend in better. All the line I put are still there, it's just that uh, I'm putting some glue on the top of it so it looks more faded. Mm. I'm thinking maybe I do some for my cloud as well. Try to be very light with your hand. And that way. You're not making it totally blue, but here and there you're making it somewhat. Now in here, take the blue 
and be a little sharper maybe for here and there so my heart don't look so perfect here no there's gonna be a line going Okay. Hmm. Now that I have that, let me take some of my white and start making. This is maybe the beginning of uh, the moon rays. So I'm gonna put some uh, stars here and there. So let me put some stars here wherever you like it to be and then you know a specific way I'm just putting it here and there don't press it too hard because then it would be too big for it and then use the same one to have some over it there's no consistency it's just that the, the one that I have down here uh, a little faded away as we go okay so I have all of that um, I'm almost done but I want to make sure maybe my clouds are too much so I'm going to take more blue and go over it a little more So, yes, make these guys disappear a little more. And then, same with this one. So, so far, I'm very close to be done. Uh, I have the blue on my brush and just here and there, putting some blue in here. So let's just make some more branches. So it will be uh, more of a tree looking. So, wash your brush very well and take some black. Make sure, again, you're holding it 90 degrees toward it. And now we did kind of make the branches disappear. So I want to make sure that what I'm putting, you can actually see here and there. So... I'm going to put some branches going in. So I'm going to make sure some of them are over here as well. I didn't put any more, so as you can see, it's just... Now start with up here with the branches going and then in here basically to make it look like it is faded away. Okay, looking good. 
it looks very good um, just go ahead and make the final step and that's making your line going straight across a little darker and a little thicker than what you you what you have That's all I'm going to do. Again, it doesn't have to be a perfect line. You're just making it more visible. Now I took very, very little of white because I want to make it obvious in here because I don't see it very well. So. Perfect. If you feel comfortable with it and you don't want to add anything or take anything out, the very last step I say, make sure you sign your painting. When you sign it, you can touch it. So, usually I do it in the bottom right corner, but you can do it whatever way or wherever way you like. That's all it is. Perfect. I will have a picture of the uh, finished work at the end of this video. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to the video.